Jelly Bean Story Page, Fall Fun with Lucy and Charlie, Raking Leaves, Hot Chocolate and Cozy Advent. On a crisp fall morning, Lucy and Charlie popped out of bed, filled with excitement for the day ahead. The familiar, cozy scent of pumpkin candles floated through the house, reminding them that autumn was officially here. They pulled on their favorite sweaters, soft and snug, and wiggled their toes into thick, warm socks. Today, they planned to celebrate the season in every way they could imagine. When they reached the kitchen, they found Mom had already prepared a steaming pot of hot chocolate. She poured it into their mugs and gave it a dusting of cinnamon, filling the room with the sweet aroma of chocolate and spice. Lucy wrapped her hands around her mug, savoring the warmth, while Charlie took a big gulp and let out a satisfied sigh. This is the best way to start a fall day, he grinned. After they finished their hot chocolate, they pulled on their jackets and headed outside, with Barkley, their energetic golden retriever, bounding out the door ahead of them. The neighborhood was a beautiful sight. A patchwork of orange, red, and yellow leaves blanketed every lawn and sidewalk. It was time for some leaf-raking fun. Lucy dashed to the shed and grabbed two rakes, handing one to Charlie. Barkley, meanwhile, had already found the biggest leaf pile he could and was joyfully rolling around, sending leaves flying everywhere. With big smiles, Lucy and Charlie began raking, working to create the most enormous leaf pile they'd ever made. Every so often, they'd glance at each other and giggle, knowing that the real fun would start once the pile was ready. After lots of raking, their masterpiece was finally complete, a mountain of leaves just waiting to be jumped into. Lucy looked at Charlie with a twinkle in her eye, and without a word, they both took a running start and dove right in, scattering leaves in every direction. Barkley, not wanting to miss out, leaped in after them, showering them with leaves as he jumped. They spent the next hour playing in the leaves, burying each other under heaps of red and gold, making leaf angels, and having the time of their lives. Eventually, they flopped down, exhausted and happy, and lay back to watch the clouds drift by in the cool, clear sky. As the afternoon rolled into evening, the air grew a little chillier, and the sun dipped lower, casting a warm, golden glow over the yard. Just then, Mom stepped outside and called them back in. Time to light the fire and grab some blankets, she said, holding out two more mugs of hot chocolate. You two have earned it. Inside, Lucy and Charlie curled up by the crackling fireplace, wrapped in cozy blankets with Barkley nestled beside them. They took sips of their hot chocolate, letting its warmth sink in after their fun-filled day in the brisk autumn air. As they sat there, they shared stories of past autumn adventures, like the year they'd dressed as matching scarecrows for Halloween, or when they'd made the spookiest haunted house in the neighborhood. They also dreamed up plans for the rest of the season, Let's help the neighbors rake their leaves so we can build an even bigger pile, Lucy suggested. Charlie nodded enthusiastically. And we have to carve the best jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween, he added. They talked about making caramel apples, hosting a pumpkin carving contest, and planning a backyard bonfire for roasting s'mores and telling ghost stories. The list of ideas grew as they brainstormed, each idea more exciting than the last. As the fire crackled and popped and the sun set beyond the trees, Lucy and Charlie felt a wonderful sense of happiness and contentment. Fall had only just begun, and they knew it was going to be full of magic, fun, and memories. They glanced at each other, grinning, and gave Barkley a scratch behind the ears. The leaves, the laughter, the hot chocolate, and the promise of more autumn adventures made their hearts feel full. Lucy and Charlie couldn't wait to make the most of every moment of fall in their neighborhood together.